The next step we're going to take is a big step. We're going to combine all three pitches, the B, the C, and the D, with all three rhythmic values, the whole note, the half note, the quarter note. So to do that, there's a couple things we have to keep in mind. Now, we know that we have to look ahead. We have to not stop playing. We have to not try to make up for mistakes that were made. We just press on. We want to make it to the end together. But now we have some, some things that we have not seen yet. Most importantly is when you're going from note to note, what it is that we're looking for. I've been hinting at this, and now it is officially going to start to be put into practice. So taking a look at the chart, we're going to play a 16-bar chart together at first with the acoustic accompaniment. The first system is made solely up of whole notes. You know, we know in 4-4, we can only have one whole note per bar. That's exactly what we see. But the key thing here is the movement of the pitches. So it starts off with C, and you look at the next measure and you go to B. Of course, you're going to look at the notes literally, and that's what we've been practicing. But more importantly, you want to look at the relationship of what they look like on the staff to each other. So in this case, let's, let's not even call them C and B for a second. Let's just think... I have a note, and in the next bar, I'm going to a lower note. The way that I know that is because that next note is at a lower point of the staff. See, we started out with a note in the fourth space, and in the next bar, in the second bar, we have a note that's on the third line. So it has gone down. Now, in this case, we know that there is a C and a B. The, the important thing in here is here is that they are stepwise. They are the next note from each other, C down to B. It could have been D down to E. It could have been G down to F. But... We know it's C down to B. This is how the staff works. Remember, I've been telling you this. Line to space, line to space, line to space. That's how scale steps work. So with that thinking, look what happens in the second and third bar where we go from B to D. Now it's something a little bigger than a step, a whole step or a half step. You know, this is something I would call a skip. Of course, you know, studying intervals, you would learn that this is a third. So that's something to keep in mind. What do thirds look like on the staff? Line to line, space to space. In this case, it's line to line. It's B to D. Line to line is a third. Other things to watch out for is we are playing all three rhythmic values. So the first system is made up of the, the whole notes. The second system is made up of half notes, but we have a whole note at the end. As those rhythms start to become closer together and, and you know, they're taking less time, you have less time to play, it's that much more important to look ahead because eventually you're going to be playing quarter notes, which happens in the third and fourth system. So use the first system to your advantage to ease into this. And as you go into the, the systems that follow that, your notes are going to be coming up more often. You're going to have to look ahead. You have to look ahead. Okay? So keep these things in mind as we play together with this uh, first one. And we're going to roll with the uh, acoustic uh, accompaniment, and then we're going to get right into a fun jam track. Once again, I can't stress these reminders enough. We have to read ahead. We have to not stop. We have to not try to play mistakes over. And I'm going to add another one to this. Throughout the course, I've set things up in a very specific order. I'd like you to follow that order. It's not uncommon to jump around a course like this or a book. I've done it myself plenty of times. In this case, though, it's really important that you go in the order that I have set this up. These concepts uh, build on each other, and you'll see that as you go through the course. I mean, right now, how do we get to these three notes? We, we learn them individually. How do we get these three rhythmic values? We looked at them individually, and now we have them all together. So if you were to jump here without doing the previous steps, you know, you might not be in a good place. So trust me, trust the method, follow the order, and everything will be good. Okay, let's play. <laughs> 